Thomas. about me or something oh uh, yeah it was more about him than about you but you know it's, all right <laughs> okay it was his personal journey through the conversation yeah um all right i mean i wanted to talk about a few things um i wanted to talk about like your dislike of de um for lack of a better word debate bros um philosophy words like the type of archetypal um you know, logical fallacy style debate, broing type of debates and stuff like that. Uh -huh. um, I think that, and you could tell me if I'm wrong, feel free to just interrupt and say if I'm mischaracterizing anything about you uh, in real time. I think the type of thing that you don't like is when someone is using terms another person doesn't know and they're using certain uh, tools of logic that another person doesn't know and they're using invoking certain fallacies that the other person might not know and they're not doing it because they're seeking to convince the other person or they're going to be willing to explain what these words mean or what the you know the, it, what's invalid about the inference they're making the reason they're doing it is either to sound smug or intelligent or to get a win in in a debate um, or to own the other person Kind of. Um, that's like one aspect mm -hmm. of it. But um, even good faith like debate bro stuff, mm -hmm. um, not using it disparagingly, it's just like there are a lot of things that I just personally like or where I'm at right now in terms of what I do for content. It's just not stuff that I do at the moment. Like my goal is to like find people, have like nice, kind conversations and like slowly massage them over my foot. That, that's kind of like where I'm at right now. Um, at some point I might like go back to doing like the more hardcore, like ultra rigid deductive debate style stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. But it's just, that's just not what I do at the moment. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I don't think it's necessarily bad, but it's just not my mm -hmm. cuppa. So, so I just, so, okay. So, but let me, uh, uh, let me just ask this. So in terms like, cause I understand like not associate like if you're gonna say I'm not gonna associate with someone who's like the type of debate bro who's the first person I described. Like I totally get that. But let's say there's a person who's like a good a good faith debate bro for lack of a better word. A lack sure. of a better phrase. Which I think um, largely I would yeah. say like you and even Isaac, I think Isaac is good faith. I don't think Isaac ever debates mm -hmm. in bad faith. Yeah. Or maybe he has before I haven't heard I mean everybody gets emotional but like mm -hmm. yeah that's not how I would characterize him. It's like a bad right, faith right. Yeah. Um I think, well, I, well, here's the thing. So I, I'm not, okay, I agree. I, bad, the bad faith may not capture exactly what I'm talking about. Because I think some things you don't like about Isaac is you think, correct me if I'm wrong, you think some of what he does is self-serving. Um, a um, little bit. There's a little bit of that. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I mean, I'm a bit self-serving as well. Um, I remember, mm -hmm. like, for instance, like, so, like, um, hopefully we don't run into huge, or I don't want to, like, get into huge, like, descriptive reality disagreements. But, mm -hmm. like, the, um, there was a guy that I talked to called Jack Angstrom, okay? And that was like, mm -hmm. that conversation was painful um, yeah. for a variety of reasons. But I think, I'm, I'm not trying to misremember anything. So if I'm being wrong, I'm just, I just mm -hmm. misremember. But I think Isaac was bothering me for a while, or, or not bothering me, was asking me for a while to have a debate with that guy. And I didn't, I kind of was like, okay, whatever, fine. I'm doing like labor value theory stuff, sure. And I mm -hmm. talked to him and like the conversation was painful as fuck. And I think at one point it ended. And I think Isaac is like doing like victory laps. Like, oh, Angstrom fucking owned it. I'm like, yeah, our debater fucking crushed us. And I'm just like, okay, like I'm good on that. I don't I, like, I'm, I'm okay with that type of stuff. So then I like kind mm -hmm. of like withdrew from like, it's like yeah, that's yeah, basically yeah. more or less what happened. Yeah. Oh yeah. So that's the type of stuff that I'm t talking about that you don't like about him. That goes beyond like the good faith, bad faith kind of thing. Yeah. Kind um, of. Yeah. Just like the, like the debate warrior right. culture and like, like that, yeah, it. That, that it's, yeah. So like that it's more of like a, so a good component of it at least is like a battle to see who wins. Like is our this, side going to win or is your, yeah, that kind of stuff. Um, so 
what I can, I mean, look, what I can tell you is that that's not, I, I don't think I've done that. I don't think I'm like, or at least if I have, I don't think that's what I'm about now anyway. Um, I, like when I reached out to you to discuss um, abortion, it wasn't because I didn't try to like uh, offer to steel man anything for the sake of steel manning something or anything like that. I just... Um, well, if I can remember, I feel like your yeah. verbiage was something along the lines of like, I think there's like something you haven't considered for these arguments. Like maybe I can come in and we can have like a conversation or something about something. So it sounded like you were attempting that. That was my impression. I, maybe I was incorrect in my impression, but that was kind of the impression that I got. Well, I do think there's something you haven't considered, but it wasn't my attempt to steal man anything. I, I just disagreed with you. And I thought that if you heard me out, that you would change your view. I didn't. What I wasn't trying to do, I just wanted to be clear about it. I wasn't trying to own you or to like come in with a like oh my side are, is going to be victorious and you know or because i know that there are certain conversations that you've had um with people from the ask yourself server that they will do everything in terms of like formally rigid logic and everything like that and but one of the goals is not just to like have a conversation with you to try to persuade you and because they really believe that they're, what they're saying is the truth they're, that's there for sure but something in addition to that is they some people who have had conversations with you did have a goal of making you look like you got owned. Sure. And when um, I was in that so, server, like I was yeah. participating in that behavior too, because it was fun. That's like, it's like a super ultra debate server, which yeah. is, which is fun. Like, which yeah. is cool. I don't, I don't hold that against anybody there. I don't mm -hmm. like hate everybody that was involved. I just, that's just not at the moment where I'm at. Yeah. Right. Like I know, I know when you debated at Jack Angstreich, like one of, mm -hmm. one of his goals, um, not, I mean, I'm sure he had multiple goals, but one of his goals um, was to like, to make you look like you got owned. Oh, okay. Um, well, that's interesting. For sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that, um, it, at least in terms of a formally like rigid, like in terms of, in terms, not maybe not on rhetoric, but in terms of on sex. Okay. Um, so, but, but I don't think I do that when I engage you. I don't think that, um, like when I engage no, you, I don't think like, we've ever had a conversation. We've done that. I don't think so. Because I've even because I think when we were doing like um, coronavirus stuff, I'm pretty sure I brought you in for at least one of yeah. those conversations. Yeah, and like I, I, I've, like done you said, I've done the opposite many yeah. times. Yeah, like, I, I agree. I, I, yeah, one hundred percent. Like when you have debates with other people on like vaccine stuff, and if and I, I've reached out to you in mid debate to like message you things that you have that. Yep, you know, and I'm they, usually they bringing up things that you're messaging me because you sometimes you link me studies or whatever like it's happened before. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, and the reason I do that is not also again, again, not trying to sound smart or anything like that. It's just that my compulsion here is just that I call it a compulsion because it's like a correction impulse. Have you heard of like the correction impulse? It's um, when I see you like even if like, for example, you're debating an anti-vax or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, if you, if the anti-vaxxer has got you on, like, even if it's a little point, mm -hmm. um, that I'm sure that if you did enough time or research after the debate, you would have realized, okay, this was just one more bullshit thing that I wasn't able to know mid-debate. Sure. Um, it bothers me if you mid-debate didn't know that. Yeah, and, of course. Uh, yeah. And so mid-debate, I will message you. Um, and I will point out like, hey, no, 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 no. Look, he's got you on this. You can come back with this. Like, this is the completely bullshit and here's why. Mm -hmm. Um and I appreciate that you've used those in a debate. Like, so I'm not trying to make you look bad or anyway. I'm doing the opposite. I'm, I'm going to try in, that, in those cases. I made you look good. Um, so I'm, I'm not doing it because I'm trying to like sound smart or anything. I'm just doing it because I believe that I have um, that that there is an argument to be had and that there's some truth behind what I'm saying and that you could be persuaded or the person you're engaging could be persuaded. Uh, now maybe I'm uh, now I could always be wrong. So if I reach out mm -hmm. to you t about a disagreement, I could be wrong about that, and you might not be convinced. But my motivation is not one of like, oh, my side's gonna win. Sure, I'm yeah, I understand. But then, like, team. so like the reason in terms of like yeah. avoiding, I like I just kind of don't want to be involved in like the those kind of like server things going on. But like, why not just mm -hmm. email me then and be like, hey, like here's like a, an abortion argument that you haven't considered before. And I'm like, oh, okay, I can just so I so I so okay so in terms of the abortion thing, so. It's going to take a long, so it's, it would take a, so I did actually email you about like, um, I believe I did do that. I remember on stream, like you were, you were saying, um, something along the lines of, well, why doesn't he just email me this? Mm -hmm. Um, and I did, I'm pretty sure I did email you it. I, I emailed you like what I, what I consider what was going wrong with, um, what you haven't considered, why I think certain papers about fetal sentience are off and why I think newer papers have overturned it. Um, or something along those lines. Um, of course, going through that data is going to take more than just an email. I, I 
do think that would be better having over a conversation. But after I sent you that email, like your response, this is after you said on stream, why doesn't you just send me an email? After I sent mm -hmm. you that email, your, your reaction to that was like, oh my God, look at this. He sent me another email. Look how obsessed he is. Or something like along Okay, those wait, lines. hold on. Well, I don't yeah. know if it was necessarily tied to that, but you did message me a lot. I'm pretty I, sure you guys tweeted at me like 20 plus times between you yeah, and no, no, Isaac. No, I'm, yeah. I'm, it wasn't, it was, look, I will, I will say that I've, I've, I have messaged, no, I, I have uh -huh. messaged you. I'm, no, I, I, I'll own that. I'll, sure. I've messaged you. I've messaged so you. If I, so if, yeah, you, if, I, you, if I, you like, if I, you I, sent me an email that I requested and then I said that, that was pretty yeah. shitty or dumb of yeah. me, but you guys had been mm -hmm. messaging me a lot across no, like, it's different true. platforms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair, enough, uh, fair enough. Look, look, I, Totally, totally leveling with you. I was upset when you came out and said like, "Hey, I'm never gonna get, I'm not talking to Avi anymore." But sure, like, which is no, it bothered me because I look, look, I, I like talking to you, dude. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I enjoyed having conversations with you. Um, and uh, when all of a sudden, because of like Isaac or uh, the Ask Yourself Discord or whatever, that that you say that you're not gonna chat and you have conversations with me anymore, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, um, that sucks. Like, you know. Um, so yeah, I mean, but so. Fair enough. Um, th that being said, that email that I did send you about that, that, that was at your request. Okay, that, gotcha. That, that, I'll try to okay. find that if I didn't delete it and see what was going on. All right, all right. All right, but, anyway, but, but the broader point mm -hmm. um, is just that, like, well, why What's why not just have conversations with me then? Like, why, why like, if, okay, so I get it. I know, just, even, like, maybe call me yeah. fallible or whatever, but, like, it's, it's, I am... I pretend I'm a sociopath sometimes, but I'm actually a soft bundle of feelings. Uh, when I have like decent conversations with people and I think like it's okay, sometimes it leaves a bad taste in my mouth when like I see that like the community that I'm left with, or, and people mm -hmm. even do this in my community, other people, by the way, I'll have like a, what I consider to be like a pretty chill conversation. And then people are like, oh, he got fucking raped. That was crazy. Did you see him fucking mm -hmm. raped? And it's like, and then when I see like everybody in the community involved in that, including the leaders of the community, it's like, okay, like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm good on that. Like I'm, I'm okay. I get that too. I get <laughs> that too. Okay. Well, what if that wasn't part of it? What if that didn't happen? Um, yeah, then I probably wouldn't care as much. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So no, that and and listen, I get that too. Um, I I find it if you know I I'm sure that I would find it annoying all the same as if I have a conversation with someone and um, it's ostensibly supposed to be a conversation where no one gets owned or whatever, and then all of a sudden I see everyone like their community is going just they're going crazy about oh my god our our leader owned them or something like it's really cringe, right? I mean it's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I get that. Okay, um, I can't promise I can completely like be an overlord of my. First of all, like I have my own community. It's like I'm 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 definitely a member of the Ask Yourself Discord for sure. But like I've had my own community for a long time now. Uh, generally, also, it's like I have I struggle to find enough time engaging with my own community. Sure. Um, right. You know, I have with all the other stuff that I'm doing, but. Um, I'm pretty sure that if I make that request to my community to like not engage in that behavior, they wouldn't do it. Um, okay. By gotcha. and large, I mean, I'm, we can try having like, convos again. I'll keep it in mind. Maybe it'll go smooth and it'll be fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, no, that's that's good. Okay. Hey, look, you proved it wasn't all about guilt by association, huh? There. You <laughs> well, I hope it never yeah, was. There you, but... there you go. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> I, don't, I hope not. Um. Okay, cool. Um, now next, you can just have your uh, makeup session with Isaac, where you two kiss, kiss, and you know, and then it'll then then it'll come around for be a whole story, you know, Maybe. come around full circle. Maybe it will. <laughs> um. Okay, so. Um, okay, other th so okay, cool. So. It's the, it's it's not. Okay, I think I think that rounds everything off. Um, the one uh other quick thing I wanted to talk about was um, your dislike of certain philosophy words that are being used. Um, does that, I just wanted to ask, does that have to do with... Um, um, what I, okay, so if I'm trying to have, if you think about the types of conversations that I'm trying to have, um, where I'm talking to people that are, I don't want to say uneducated, but they're not like, um, <clears throat> they're not like super well versed with like the very big like philosophy terms of logical fallacies or whatever usually when i'm when i'm when i'm telling people to have like these types of chill conversations or trying to like convert people or whatever i hate using the word convert i'm trying to show people that there's like another way to think about a thing um i'm usually encouraging people like hey try to stay away from certain things um so like if a religious person is like i think that homosexuality is wrong 
like I probably wouldn't open up with like, well, <clears throat> obviously we're having a meta ethical disagreement that we need to resolve, right? Because they're not going to know what meta ethics yeah. is, and then everything is like fucked, yeah. right? I might say they're like, oh, well, yeah. like how do you figure out like if things are right or wrong? Like maybe we can have like a conversation like this. So like kind of getting it. So I usually I try to avoid or recommend people avoid like the big like you know using like lo like that's a non sequitur, calling out logical fallacies mm -hmm. or using like philosophical terms because it usually isn't productive for a conversation where you're trying to move two people closer to each other. Usually that's just for like demonstrating like the inability of the other person to follow along or hang with the conversation which isn't productive if you're trying to convince people yeah mm -hmm. gotcha but like in, okay. depending on the setting like if you so like yeah. in your guys's server if it's like as i remembered it was right where people are like being a bit more rigid or strict in terms of how they're engaging argumentatively then then i think there's like a reasonable expectation that you should be able to um converse in those ways or hang in those ways because that's kind of like what's going on yeah Gotcha. Basically, it's your priors on what you think the, is going to sway the other person. Like, if you if you were met with a religious person who was basically argumentative in, in a way that is of a formally rigid system or whatnot. Yeah, if um, I'm arguing with, like, my mom or dad who are religious about something, mm -hmm. that my approach is going to be way different than if I'm arguing with, like, a presuppositionalist. Then we're going to get a lot more yeah. formal because we have to necessarily to further yeah. the conversation. Okay, that makes sense. So it's not, like, some intrinsic, like, dislike of these terms. No, not um, at all. And if I'm arguing yeah. with somebody that like, like I'm, I imagine if we were to have, I think you probably know almost for sure more philosophy than me, but if we were to have like more formal conversations about like normative yeah. ethics or something, then we're probably going to be hashing out these terms more. But that's not to like get one over the other, or I'm not doing it to try to like confuse you. We're, we have to do mm -hmm. it for clarity in the conversation because these words mean something and we can like further delineate right. um, or establish like positions based on, yeah, these positions. So yeah. What's yeah, because what I, what I worry about and, and not saying that this is a position you hold, but it's something that's like, you know, you may say certain things and it trickles down the community um, and it trickles down to other communities. What I, what I worry is that because some people have misused certain terms and not by misuse, I don't mean use it in the incorrect way. I just mean they use it as a bludgeon to show their intelligence mm -hmm. over another person. And like that, that type of debate broke. Mm -hmm. If they do like, if because of that, there's like this, reaction to it to try to just the solution is to just jettison philosophy term sure um like that kind of sentiment is going around some circle and i i don't think that's the right solution sure um, for sure because sometimes yeah. these can be clarifying or they're like pretty important to be able to yeah they don't reasons. exist yeah the word like the like the, the the nomenclature doesn't exist to make people look smart there's there's value beyond that mm -hmm. sure um yeah Okay, cool. Or else you're just stuck repeating the same concept over and over again without some shorthand way of simplifying it or, mm -hmm. instead of just repeating it over and over. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, the other thing I wanted to quickly just mention, you you, met, you talked about how you mellowed out. Um, used to be like part of like that, uh, hard, what you described as the hardcore debate people mm -hmm. and whatnot. Um, and then you've and then you've mellowed out and you, you're more of a conversationalist now. Would that be an accurate um, um, when it comes to like political conversations generally, yeah. Okay. Um, I've I've noticed I've noticed that the one thing I just wanted to mention is that um, I've noticed that with a lot of people, it's like it, it might be just something with growing up, but um, I if I look back to my old debates, um, I probably have done a worse job at like um, you know in terms of like being too hard on someone or whatnot. Being too or being too aggressive, more aggressive than I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. um, so, and, and I will say, like the state of this ask yourself server in general, it's like there's probably a lot more conversations now than there are debates. I could be wrong about that, but mm -hmm. it did. It's not like the thun. It didn't seem like the Thunderdome it used to be. Sure, yeah, or it's possible. Doesn't seem like what it used to be. Um, so I just uh, the, so that what I don't want to happen is like for you to you know, take a step out of that and, and just to be like, okay, well, the image you have it of your mind is like, well, I've, I've changed and I've mellowed out, but like everything else has stayed the same. Everything else is like, just as like this hardcore, just, um, uh, type of, uh, uh, logical fallacy bro debate type thing that's going on. Sure. Um, and, um, the other thing is I don't think I've, um, you mentioned something about bullying. I, I don't think I've, Bully, bully people. Like, um, I, what do you? I don't mean know you if you. I don't know yeah. if you have, but like the 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 mo of the server used mm -hmm. to be, like, yeah. Basically, you got a bunch of people that are like 
these hardcore, like everybody knows all of these vegan arguments back to front. Mm -hmm. And you'll get somebody that wanders into the circle like, hey, so I'm somebody that eats meat and I'm curious if you guys want to debate. And like, it's like, sharks yeah. are like oh yeah and then some guy basically yeah. goes into the server goes into voice chat and then he's like thunderdomed by like 27 like vegan ninja yeah. debate assassins and it's just like a total fucking destruction yeah. of this person until like the yeah. goal is like make them kill themselves like that 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 was like not to say that it's good or bad i'm sure my server has done shit like that but like that bit that was kind of like that's kind of why when i was in that server i would sometimes argue the other end just because i felt bad for like strangers that would kind of stroll in and then would all of a sudden find themselves surrounded by like 52 like third year philosophy students and then realize that they're like absolutely fucked in whatever conversation they're about to have. <clears throat> I see. I see. Um, I, pro I probably have observed that in the old days as well. Um, actually, I know I have. Um, but n again, not to say that there's a pro necessary problem with that. But again, yeah. I don't see a lot, whole lot of that these days. Yeah, sure, and um, maybe not. Yeah. But yeah, back then, I think you were always like two sentences away from like somebody like infinitely holocausting retarded yeah. children or something. Like there was always like really quick. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. Well, well, that, well, that, but that's not necessarily bullying someone. That's just that's just if I'm saying like, okay, well, if this if this like massive destruction is happening, like, okay, I can ask them questions about it. But yeah, sure. I, I, the, the bullying no, no, no. aspect is it's like a, a twenty v one or something. If one person like you know doesn't get something precise, another person jumps in, and then just like you know, there's no way one person is gonna. I mean, there may be a way, but it's unlikely that one person's gonna be able to. Uh, accurately defend themselves against like people who have thought about this a lot longer when there's a whole bunch of people against one. Sure. Right. Um, so that so that's the the type of thing. If I, and I again, I, I mean maybe even that might be a stretch to call it bullying, but that's something I could somewhat see of like a, you know, if if it's uh, it's like a ten v one type of situation. Sure. Like okay, um, I I don't I wouldn't want to have that. Sure. Um, okay. Cool. So, yeah, but I, I also don't think I've, yeah, I don't think I, ha I have, I've done that. I, I, it's been a long time. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. So, so, so provided that there's no, yeah, like provided that there's none of this like community war shit where people are like, oh, like Destiny got destroyed or this person or, and, you know, like obviously that would be a, like a mutual thing that you, you know, from your community as well, I take it, but. You know, don't be like, yeah, okay, I usually try well, to tell, like, if I'm having, like, chill conversations with people, I try to tell people when I'd be cringe, be like, oh, Destiny, you fucking destroyed this guy. I was like, bro, we're just, like, chatting, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so if there's that type of, like, relationship, then, um, then, uh, I guess the bridge can be built, then. Sure thing. If you want it to be, buddy. Sure thing. Well, I do want it to be. <laughs> I do. I, 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 look, I, I enjoy having conversations with you. I enjoy talking about issues with you. Um. Uh, and it's and I think that if I'm persuasive, I can convince you on certain things. And I think if you're persuasive, you might be able to convince me on certain things. So yeah, sure I don't. Is. I just don't see why we wouldn't have conversations. Okay, gotcha. Works for do me. Do you just do you look, do you agree or? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think it's good. No problem. All right, cool. See, there's a happy ending. Gotcha. Okay. Well, anything else, buddy? No, that's it. I love you, buddy, my dude. <laughs> All right, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take care. Bye.